So I, I spend my time and my effort with you. And when I've needed something, I've asked it of you. And many of you have helped me out. I thank you. I know some of you have felt that I have betrayed you. But if anything, I did what I promised that I would do the whole time. Men grouped together and attacked me, and I promised openly. I recorded my promise. I said, if you continue to attack me, I will bring down your king. Those men did the will of their king. And many of you showed how displeased you were by all the name calling. All the misuse of scripture. And never staying with your rock, the Most High. I'm a man, and as a man, I will fail. I'm a man, as a man, I will succeed. Your faith should never be in a man. And those people put their faith in a man, and that man lost his soul a long time ago. And then, without knowing the truth, a situation which you should have stayed out of, you chose a side. Now, I hope you, each and every man and woman, I hope ye are proud of the side you've chosen. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. That would be Jesus spread to the four corners of the earth, right? The four corners of the disc, the plate. The beast is a dangerous animal, like a boar. Here's your Here's, your, here's what it's all been about. Farm animal footprints and Greek letters. Okay? Very simply, this is the horse's foot. This is the mark that the horse leaves. This is the image a snake leaves from side to side, but it's making a straight line. This is the image of a what? A chicken foot. Voodoo. And my favorite right here, turn it sideways, 
This sigma is the pig's foot. As my wise friends said, and they put swine on the altar. What happens when you get these marks on you? And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. The leopard is the symbol of what? It's the symbol of Central America and South America. And the indigenous peoples being overthrown for their worship of what? A giant serpent. What serpent were they worshiping there? You've heard it many times. Hmm. Ku Ku Khan, the Great Khan, the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl. They all worship the same creation. They didn't worship the Creator. And what is the footprint that this thing leaves? Don't you see the mark of the beast? It's a K. When the beast walks, it's got what? Four fingers. The beast that walks on all four. It's not just a fowl, it's a lion. It's not just a lion, it's a serpent. It's a chimera. And the Greeks worship the chimera. Quatzalcoatl is the chimera. Ku Klux Klan worship the chimera. I want to show you something. How do you pronounce this name? Camaro. He's doing it right in front of you, and you're too silly, too uneducated. He's calling himself the Chimera. Where did they get their knowledge? He called him Malduk. That's Hebrew for king. Hmm. If I go over here, Chimera. Hmm. Look at that. Jaguar style. Cougar. Let's go back to the scripture since that seems to be the connecting word, right? And the beast which I saw was like unto a, lot, a leopard, a panther. Let's just take a wild guess, a cougar, a panther, and a leopard. Hey, fucking it's already right there, right? They're all types of mountain lions. What's the difference between, oh, they throw cheetah in there too. Hmm? It's the big cat species. Meow. And the whole time in front of you, This motherfucker's been calling himself Chimera, because you're, you're too foolish to think about it, it with a K. Chimera. It's a f Greek mythology. It's what? It's a fire-breathing female monster. Don't you hear this dude taking the feminine role?
You're my king. You're my Khan. You're my Malik. Drop on me, Khan. Drop on me, Malik. I miss you, bro. Talking Greek to him the whole time. One man talking soft to another man. You. Right? So, see a pipe dream? Right? Boule. Booty lay. Lay in pipe. Right? Wrong? Hmm? Does. Chimera. Oh, how do you pronounce his name? What do those two vowels together make? What does it sound? Right? Come on, man. Kurimo? That's not how he says it. Every time he, he says it, it sounds like it's almost a cougar. You don't see these guys playing with your, with your lives? What happened to their lives? Well, one of them has got a stamp on his arm, showing he owned, he's owned by a beast. And his feet were like the feet of a bear. Let's go back to the Greek letters. Ooh, any of these Greek letters look like a bear? Oh, this one's better. All right. Which one of these are going to look like a bear? Let's go to the animals, farm animal footprints. Don't you see this all the time? So let me show you this real quick. What are you looking for? Symbols and images. Let's go back here real quick. Because it's not just brands. It also has to do with tattoos. All right? Pan-Hellenistic, right? Is it right? Pan. Nebuchadnezzar is turned into a beast that runs around, right, eating grass. What is Pan known for? Beast running around, committing sexual atrocities. Let me find this right one. Now, those things are just a lie to trick you. Nobody's going to tell you fraternities because all these people have these marks. Now, um, some of us remember, you see the towel right there? Now, some of us remember somebody saying, pointing to that, where, his, where he got his grandma's cross at. Now he just sees the Christian cross as a towel, a Greek letter. Now, without those words being said, we probably would have never put that correlation together, right? Right? Pig's foot. Hmm? Dragon's foot, hmm? horse, chicken, snake, side to side, making a straight line. For a snake to go straight, it moves side to side, and a Christian cross. Now think about the rest as just tattoos. I can't think of an animal that makes this a circle with an eye on the inside, unless you turn that sideways, and it's the eye. 
on top of the dollar bill. There's the pyramid that the eye sits on. So it's easy once you start seeing these things for what they are physically in the world. So, and his feet. Why are they so important to tell you about the feet? The whole animal was like a leopard, but the feet were not like a leopard. It was like a bear. Now remember, bears are fast like leopards, but they can't quite climb. Remember this. They can't quite climb like a leopard. And his mouth was the mouth of a lion. A lion eats things like he's the king of the jungle. But he's faster than a bear. Remember this. Now a leopard is important because the leopard is spotted. That means it will have a spot that looks like it will be spotted. Its skin is spotted that makes it look like a leopard. But it will be move like a bear, but devour like a lion. And the dragon gave his power. Here, you can use this. And his seat. Here, you can use this. And great authority. People will reference you fraternally when they see you. Authority. And I saw one of the heads as if it were wounded to death. And Rome fell. But here we are in America with Roman laws, Roman names on top of us, Roman buildings. And the deadly wound, their military left, their military came here, set up. Their home was devoured by barbarians. Seven heads, right? Which seven is the barbarian, because three were killed off by Justinian for the Pope. Seven heads, heads of families, tribes. Ten horns, ten kingdoms that they rule over. Even though they killed the warriors of those kingdoms, they still have the people behind them. And upon his horns, upon the people, ten crowns, ten new families. And upon his head, the name, the families pushed one name, Jesus. If you get the Israel, this is not a book of the world. This is an Israelite book for messages to Israelites. The whole world taught you this is commerce. I'm going to teach you this is black people being described right in front of you. People that look like you, people that have the same spots that you do, but they walk differently and they talk differently and they got different power than you do. This don't got nothing to do with the white man. This got to do with the black that's not hairy and the black that is hairy. This is Jacob and Esau. It is what it is. I saw one of the heads of the were wounded to death. One of them, Rome. What are the other ones that came? Hmm. Let's see. Seven heads. Ten horns. Now. If we look at who holds Rome, 
It's the Lombardo barbarian tribe calling themselves Itali. The real Italians, like black people that have the last name Christmas, aren't there anymore. They were pushed into Germany, pushed out of Germany, pushed here. Be side by side with you. That's why they look like you. They look like leopards. You are talked about as bobcats. None of these people call themselves bobcats because bobcats is what the prophets call the children of Israel. These people are not taking names like bobcats because they know they're not the children of Israel. And they took other cat names like Kamiru. Kamiru. Now remember, just because you're in America and it says Chermu, but you, it doesn't mean that's how they pronounce it. This place, that place, that place. And as we pretend, like white people, that we can pronounce these things in lands we've never been in, we've never seen, and we've never actually heard the true dialect, this person could be pronouncing his name in a distinct way, of course, to mask it from his bobcat Israelite audience. So, they look like you, they walk different, they talk different, they have authority that's different than yours. They own shit, and you don't. You're crying about slavery, and they're crying, shut the fuck up, it's a good ride. Why? Because you want heaven to come, and this is going to tell you because of them taking the mark of this beast, they can't go to heaven. And I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. Do we have these laws again? Is their land destroyed by barbarians, yet they come over here and take this land, yet the barbarians come on top of them, but cut them some slack like they did everybody else. Psalms 83. You sign with us. That's what they did with the basketball contract, the football contract, the baseball contract. If you sign with us, we won't treat you that way. And all the world. If you sign with us, we'll put you in the Roman circus. Don't tell me Rome gone. If you sign with us, we'll put you on fucking TV every weekend. Men will, men will remember your number more than they'll remember these Bible scriptures. And all the world wondered after the beast. I want to go to college. I want to get a degree. And all the world wanted to go to these accredited schools. So the things that they came out of their mouth was, was, was accredited. And they didn't talk like idiots no more. Mm. College bound. Now, because they went to college... Everybody else went to college, right? Everybody wanted to go to college. And now we all owe student fucking loans. And unlike any other fake money, student loans, you always have to pay back. Now, how can every other debt be forgiven, but a student loan can't? And all the world wandered after the beast. Or white supremacy. SLC 24A5. You look like white man, talk like white man, but you are not a white man. You're a dragoon in the shape of a man. You can look at it that way if you want. 
and the world wandered after white people and black girls put on wigs to look like white people. And Arab nations sold their people for, for white man money. And Arab men turned Arab men to boys, to girls, for white man money. You can look at it as white supremacy. But it's still what is hidden within the rat race. If they're tempted by the evil and they act evil, then they've acted on the evil that's in their hearts. That is what that is. And you can't go one way or the other on that. It's been done. There's no arguing for it. There's only arguing against it. And all the world wandered after the home of the white man because of what? The beast within. And they worshiped the dragon. <laughs> the dragoon. They worshiped the angel that fell, which gave power unto the beast. Look at that. The dragon that fell gave power unto the beast. It's getting SLC 2485-y ish, isn't it? And the definitions claim that 95, 93, some kind of 90% of Europeans carry the trait of the abominable snowman. I mean the Yeti. I mean Bigfoot. I mean, does it matter? And they worship the beast. Right? In every commercial, you see some kind of beast. On magazines, you hear about men wanting to marry their dogs. Hmm? Talking geckos, they worship the beast. Skyco, say it right. They worship the beast. The crocodile hunter died. They worshiped the beast. I'd like my logo to be a shark. And they worshiped the beast. Soon you understand the eyes of Dragoon. And they worshiped the beast. Saying. Who is unlike the beast? Who is like, excuse me, who is like unto the beast? And the black girl pats her, her wig against her head, saying, who looks good with this hair? I do, I do. And the black boy puts his little tight pants on, turns around, checks his little tight button, says, who looks good today? I do, I do. And they worship the dragon which gave the power unto the beast. Hmm? And they worshiped the beast. Hmm? And they bought the soap that burned the skin that took their melanin. Hmm? And they bought the grease and smeared it in the hair, and it burned the curl out. Hmm? And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like, who is like unto the beast? Who looks the best as the beast? I do, I do. Who is able to make what? What? War with him? I can, I can. Hmm? Why? Why? Because everybody wanted to prove. Mm -hmm. The beast caught, taught you to culture steal. Mm -hmm. So now you stole the beast culture. Mm -hmm. 
and the beast is barbaric. Hmm. And now it's what? Jet Li, the one. Hmm. So now it's shown off who is the baddest. Hmm. Who is like unto the beast? Who looks the best with this suit on? Hmm. And they called you savages. Hmm. And you're going to be that because now you've been trained. Hmm. Who is able to make war with him? Hmm. The dragon gave power to the beast so that you, mimicking the beast, would make war with the beast. Hmm. The snake that eats its own tail. Hmm. The dragon gave his power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast for a time. And when they were done worshiping the beast, they started acting like the beast and dressing like the beast and mimicking the beast because they love the beast and because they were influenced by the dragon. Because they worshiped the beast. For the dragon, they went against the beast. And they, you know who they are, that's you. The world. And they became the beast. And were given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. Jesus, 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 Jesus is king. Blasphemy. Jesus, Jesus was born in the time of Rome, is Emmanuel from prophecy. From prophecy. Blasphemy. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, the morning star. Hmm, that part's true. And power was given unto him to, to continue forty and two months. Hmm, forty and two months, it's four hundred and twenty years. I mean, if, if a day is a thousand years, just Right? It can't be right. This is so forty and two months. Really? Forty what? Don't tell me forty two months. That just sounds ridiculous. Mm hmm. So forty two months is what? Come on. It's three years and something, right? Multiplied by what? 100 or 1,000? Do you really think they'll give you the correct time? A thousand year reign times 300? It doesn't say that anywhere. But it does say hundreds of years of reign. Mm, it does. So you got to wonder if the editors were correct when they wrote that how long have the europeans excuse me how long have the barbarian tribes masquerading as the of as the european jacobite tribes how long have they been over here around 400 20 years something in there yeah Depends what book you read. And he opened his mouth and what? In blasphemy against God. Jesus is the most high. All right? The most high told you he's not going to come through no woman. He didn't come through no woman and he's not going to change. But you listen to them over and over and over again and you accept those christian lessons shoved down your throat and you have not changed and you will not change
So you want Christian lessons? So he taught you a very Christian lesson. I will conquer you with a different God than you're supposed to have. You've been Christianed. To blaspheme his name, Hawa. Hmm? He, she, it thing. You didn't think I studied what Hawa was? And they blasphemed his name. Heya is a male. Hawa is androgynous. You are in the last days and you have no idea you are written of. And you said to me, I don't know who you are or were or was and again. And I said, I do, dragon child. You don't know who I am, but your friend kept nicknaming me Moses. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High to blaspheme his name. And he taught that the Most High's name was Hawa. And the Israelites didn't have a W. It was created in the 7th to 8th centuries by Germans, the barbarians. His tabernacle. Hmm. He taught you to blaspheme the Most High's tabernacle. What would that be? That would be the land in Utah. I told you he stole from me. And you didn't want to listen. You thought I was lamenting like a crybaby. But it's written right here that he would blaspheme his tabernacle. A tent. That's you. And when he came and stole my lesson, he rent the tent. That's you. And he took half. That's the souls. And he went and he took those souls to the dragon. He fed those souls to the dragon because he has a mark. And that mark means that he cannot come back. And you don't know that he took you and you made all these accusations to defend him when he was a child, a pure blood child of the serpent. There is years of video to prove. I've got nothing but time. The most high is on my side. He sees nothing but time. Your days are numbered and not by me. For my threats are just of men. And them that dwell in heaven, your ancestors are looking down in shame that one of your own is leading you away again. Them that dwell in heaven. Is Enoch your ancestor, black man? Is looking down in seeing you being led away, led astray by something that looks like you but is not. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High to blaspheme his name. Who in this world right now is there some kind of question? What is the name of the Most High? This, for all my viewers, should be easy. If you are denying this person's name, who also calls himself a false king, also has people that call him, then you know, obviously the conflict is in you. It is not in the Most High. The Most High does not change. I am learning the Most High's ways. I have learned the Most High's ways. I'm reading to you the Most High's ways. Who blasphemed his name? You didn't study the name he gave you, did you? 
when I've showed you every step of the way, this Haya is the correct name. Forward, backward, backward, forward, all round about. No stone left unturned. But Hawa, the definition is he, comma, she, comma, it, comma, thing. That's blasphemy because clearly even in Revelation, the Most High is male, not androgynous, and not no fucking dragon. And you took his tabernacle. You blasphemed his tabernacle. That's his people alive today. And you black and what? And them that dwell in heaven. You said great lies about them that dwell in heaven. This is about the Israelites. Don't be fooled. God didn't give no begotten son. If God didn't give no begotten son to the world, and God gave wickedness to the world, then you really can't say he care about the world. Dare I say, he don't give a shit about the world. He told you, do not be of the world. Nigga, you got a stamp the same as a fucking horse. There's a horse at the edge of this county. It's got a stamp. That horse belonged to a man. You belong to a man. You didn't think about that when they put a hot brand up to you? And it was given unto them to make war with the saints. Yo, is this dude trying to use the Ten Commandments? And it's proven that he broke the Ten Commandments? And when he read the Ten Commandments, he don't bring himself up? But he sure bring up the phrase brother as he has that brother and his wife and his children written all over his chest. But your brother that you stole from uh, uh, Mr. Crisp, he 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 didn't he he seems to be one of those saints. Blameless. I, I don't hear I don't hear Coco Crisp did this in the news. I don't hear none of that shit. Just seems like a regular guy. Just paid. Big money and play baseball. Probably could have a stamp on him. I don't know. This ain't about him. To make war with the saints. Stole from him. Get mad at me for saying you stole from him. Call me a liar. Call me all this shit. Trick your blind flock into attacking me. When you're behind bars, your your flock's attacking me. I promise you, right? I promised you when this guy attacked me, when this guy, Tomahawk, when he attacked me, when this guy came and lied and attacked me, when this guy came and attacked me, and all this time you were behind bars, while all your little, while all your little Indians, your 10 little niggas, Came and attacked me. You fucking Agatha, Agatha Christie'd me, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me show you guys someone else, all right? All right, look at all these people he shout out to. He makes sure he shouts your name out. Like you're written in his book. <sighs> this is sad. All these people, gone. Don't you guys get it? I didn't make him confess that he's a fraternal member. You don't get out of that. That, that never leaves you. Can you believe this? <laughs> it 
he, he shouted all your names out. And look at this. Look at that. Right? Right. Yeah. This is awesome shit, right? So Truth Teller 50 goes back to Truth Teller period. Right? So this is just all one big setup. And this is just the day all of you were caught. You're all connected. And all of you in between, it's just a fucking shame. It's just a shame. It's just, I would like to share some information with you to help you with your situation. He's done. You share whatever you want. All of you are two-faced. So, again, this is Kane and I, Kane and I. You know, these people, uh, made your choice. You know, why does your name say Truth Teller here and Truth Teller 50 in other uh, publications? You know, all of them lead back to one channel, right? Truth Teller 50, and it puts you right there, right? right? So I just, you know, I don't know what kind of game all, all these people, right? Hey, thanks. Just stay away. You made your your decision about what's important to you, right? With your little jokes. I just want to say thank you all, all of you. you you've clearly shown the most high's work at hand. All this nonsense. Hmm? When have any of you written that you love the most high? Hmm? Yeah. He taught you about a king that worshipped a dragon and got our land stolen from us. Hmm? Because the Most High would have protected us if we were worshipping the Most High. Hmm? Same face, many names. Same face, many names, Canaanite words. Hmm? Hmm? You say that's your teacher, right? See? Now it's all here. There is no question. Hmm? Because I've told you, this aboriginal bullshit is a trap. Hmm? 
you're in the wrong place with the wrong name. Hmm? Canaanite. See, you guys should have studied for yourself. You wouldn't have fell for this trap. Now you're all netted up. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. You two-faced people. Making claims I'm on drugs. When I clearly proven you follow a branded mistress of a dragon. This disgusts me. You believe you're in truth? And what happens when you see these videos? And you find out that bang, your king led you to a dragon to be eaten. How many of you feel different on the inside? You were supposed to be following the Most High and the law. You were supposed to be reading on your own. Huh? And you got people up here calling me. Well, that, that's your brother. You're right. I'm not one of you. Mm hmm? Hope you're proud of this. Hope you're proud of this. Because he calls out all your names to make sure you know you're on that list of fallen to fall. This, this sad person. Remember my argument against Tomahawk? You see, he's part of the pact. Hmm. You just follow what the Most High says, and he will make your enemy. Same face, different names, right? Where is it? Is there? Okay. It's okay. I got a photographic memory. Right? He brought facts. Right? Putting in the work for the dragon. Why didn't you guys just read the Bible yourself? Right? Ah, this fool. Okay. Well, now I've captured your 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 statements. If you follow this dragon, hmm, to people with multiple channels, falling back to the same name. <laughs> Right? Don't forget. I've never lied to you once. Hmm? It was given them to make war with the saints. Look at all those saints that just fell. Huh? And to overcome them, the saints. Now look. How many different ways can overcome mean, huh? Conquer, you've been conquered. Subdue, you've been literally subdued. You've been figuratively marginalized. Prevail, they've prevailed over you. Now look at these people. They've sided. For this thing. It gives power. And power was given over to him over all kindreds. Babylon. And tongues. Babel. And nations. United. And kindreds. Clans. Race. Ku Klux Klan. Isn't that interesting? The white people say KKK, right? And now you have black fraternity members with K's scarred up and down their body like a beast tread all over them. 
and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. Everyone who's not in the book of life, all these fraternities, sorority members from over the ages, they die, they get a, a tomb built for them with, with pyramids and such. All of those who dwelt upon the earth, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world who was who was at the foundation of the world cain and abel who had the lamb to sacrifice and because he had a lamb he was sacrificed abel mm -hmm. Arneon. Boy, does that sure sound like a name. Hmm. If any man have an ear, let him hear. I don't know why I say that. I just saw all these black people, all these melanated people, all these different Hebrews that are deaf and blind. So I don't think they're going to hear this. I think they got too much riding on this one. I think they chose a side in something they should have minded their own business about. Because I didn't set you in a spiritual trap. This man was no different than the quail. An unclean bird. When the Israelites had the law, you have a Bible, you have the law. You didn't need him and you didn't need me. You chose to be led. You chose to write, I miss you. I love you. You are my king. You chose to write those things with your own hand like a signature. You had him on your mind, not God. That's why the whole time he taught you about a dragon, and when he put it on screen and he said it aloud, you were blind and deaf. Shame on you, picking sides. Who makes the best cupcakes? Who steals non-Christian lessons from someone that actually studies? He that leadeth into captivity. Those engines are sided with the colonists and signed treaties with the colonists. Fuck the Washita, because they still got their name and it's on colonist record. They haven't been Psalms 83. The Katawaba, they still got their name on record. They have not been Psalms 83. Those that lead into slavery shall go into slavery. Those that betray their brother shall be betrayed by their master. He that leadeth into captivity, Edom, brown skin, Edom, with fur on their arms. It ain't hard to find you. Everybody else got thin arm hair. Everybody else got melanated skin and thin arm hair. You are hairy. You ain't hard to find. Black man hairy like a gorilla. Eat him. Black man face like a pig. Henry Kristoff. Who else got that look? Who else got that Christoph look? Hmm? Who else got the pig nose? Hmm? Who else? Huh? Fake it. Like he a bobcat or huh? a leopard. The cat family, but walk like a big dumb bear. 
aboard. How many Freemasons put fake black leaders in front of you right now, trying to win your heart, and build schools, and have contests to see who can teach the black people that they're aboriginal when there's all these teachers that are already taught that. They're all on the same team. They all go to the same meeting. Somewhere on their naked ass is the same stamp. He that leaveth finished captivity shall what? Shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword, with the gun, with the poison, must be killed with the sword, with the gun, with the poison, with the noose. Here is the patience and faith. Look at all those faithless people that went running. Yeah, I stole from a black man whose name I have, whose whole family I have written on my skin. The, the, the second beast, which mark? Which mark do you have? Do you have the mark of this beast or you have this, this beast mark or you have the next beast mark? You got the, you got the dragon's mark. You got the last beast, right? And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, right? And a horn is used to what? Push. The hair of the head, right? Literally, figuratively, right? So, the hair, so, so look at that. It's trying to tell us something. The hair of the head forms horns, right? Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> and he spake like a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast. Hmm. The one that looked like the lever, but walked like the walked like a bear. But ate everything like a lion. A lion eats anything it wants. And and, and in this age, a lion that eateth anything it wanteth would eat unclean food. So look at black people that eat pork. Knowing the law. All these Islam black people know, don't eat pork. Think about this, right? And he spake like the dragon. How many of these niggas speak like white men? Think about it. I don't care if you think about it from the Carlton perspective. I don't even care if you think I fit in that perspective. You think about it yourself. How many people speak like the dragon? Hmm? Boy, you heard Tomahawk. Looks lighter than me. You ain't a nigga, but you a boy. And then what? He called me nigga anyway. And he called me half breed while he's in the process, hypocritical, in the process of making children with another nation. These people will use anything against you, even situations that they are in. He exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them to dwell within to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed, stabbed in the side, right? Pierced. Worship Rome. Give unto Caesar. Let these motherfuckers tax you. The Most High said an eye for an eye. So you let them scar you. I don't care if it's wage, whatever, right? You're the most high's child, right? So when they branded you on the arm, you branded them as the most high's child too, right? You, you guys switched, right? Wrong. You took an oath to a dragon. And causeth the earth and them which dwell wherein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound pierced in the side was healed. It's a deadly wound. Now, re re really interesting. Why does it say this 
contradiction. Self. For what? Deadly or wound? Reflexive relation. What is this one? Death. Death wound. Stroke. Look at this shit. The definition laid out here is to self. To cause to self. To wound the implication of self. It's a self-implicating wound that leads to death. Now think about the mark. Your mark is a self-implicating wound. Nobody gave you that shit. You had to agree to it. The people that held you there are just dummies that got branded before. Look at that. Read it for yourself. Self. It's a contradiction. Now, how many of these Freemasons are contradictory? You can bring whatever God you want to the altar, but you're still going to be under what? Under a Freemason God. Right? And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And we all love fireworks. And we love explosions. And we love fucking astronauts, even though they're fake. We love that shit. We grew up with that shit. Yeah, astronauts. NASA sucks, but Steve Steve Austin's fucking amazing. He's a, he's, he doesn't even live. He's a, he's a fake. He's a, he's a fucking character. And he do great wonders. The Hadron Collider. We're gonna we're gonna use this this collider to open up a portal. We're, we're gonna crack the dome. The stars are inside the dome, so we're gonna wait till the star lines up underneath the hydrogen collider, and then we're gonna smash the right particles, and, and it's gonna shoot straight up, and it's gonna hit the star, and when it hits the star, it's gonna freeze the atoms, and when the atoms freeze, they fall, and when these atoms fall, the electrons are not enough to hold the fallen angels in the cage, and they will be freed. You Freemasons did this. You made it possible for them to build what? A device that can free the atoms so they, they can free them from the cages. Wait, don't they got us? The stars are a little bit closer now, right? They're trying to warn you. They got the tech now, right? The great wonder to unlock them. And deceive them that dwell on the earth, right? They're sitting there. We work for uh, whatever it's fucking called. We make a hydrogen collider, and we're going to have stage plays for, poor for performances. Why? You're scientists. And our performances are going to be to the devil, because we're going to have things running around, mimic ghosts and giant walking lions and giant walking baphomets. Hmm. Androgyny. Giants. Demons. Hydrogen colliders, right? All right here. To see that them that dwell in the earth, right? By the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying them that dwell in the earth, that they should make the image. Robots. AI. Right? Jordy Rose. They talk about this shit all the time. Right? This is all it right here. What kind of miracles that you do that can show power? We can build a star buster. And when the star busts, what's being contained will fall to earth. And these beasts that, that walk in the AI, they'll use them as bodies and they'll fucking run you. And they'll force the people of the earth. What? Where's it the image of the beast? Where's the first image? Hmm? The black Romans created Jesus, and then the white barbarians gave you the image. It's the combination of the two. Black literature, white imagery. And he divideth them that dwell on the earth. 
into this faction, into this faction, right? I like telecommunications. I like sports. I like watching stuff. I like doing stuff. I like yoga. I like Pilates. I'm an Indian, a European, and I'm from Germany. No, you're not. You're just a barbarian. He will divide them with lies. By means of those miracles, we discovered America. We went to the moon. Think about all the power to prove the earth is not really what it truly is. Hmm? It's a hamster ball. Glass on the top, dirt on the bottom. It's a Pokemon ball. Most High sits on top of the circle. It's a dome tent on top. It's a dirty bucket on the bottom. Hell's on the bottom. Heaven's on top on the outside. <clears throat> and they just deceived the whole world, telling them that they went to the moon, but the moon is inside the automatic trouble bubble. <clears throat> and they tell you you can dig from your house and you'll end up in China. Hmm? Deception. And they make everybody worship the image which had the wound by the sword. Who was pierced by the sword? And then did live. That is Jesus. Stop lying to yourself. Nobody in history got pierced in the fucking side, died, and then lived. That is the only motherfucker ever recorded. Deception. Fake miracles. Worship the image of the beast. Black writing. White faces. White imagery. Do I need to read it again? Huh? And he exercises all the power in the first beast before him, the Edomites, right? That brought the pig on the altar, the pig faced man. Pretend it's Henry Christoph. This is the image of Rome, man. You guys are drunk. Bad robot. You better wake up. You're, you're, you guys. Mess with the wrong man. All right. So it's easy for me to pick names that have everything to do with this situation that I've already brought up. I've already shown many times how they're all connected. You see how his hair make fucking horns? You thought I was playing with you. Black Roman writing. Stop drinking the juice. Stop drinking the lean. Stop drinking the cough syrup.
and he exercised, oh, he, he listen, <laughs> you fucking, <laughs> hey, you can always say, Okay, so this shit been there for a long time. Ain't that Santa Claus right there? You drunk ass. Okay, you better understand the real deal where this shit came from, right? Messing around with me, man. I'm tired of this shit. Black people did this to black people. White people came and took up black man's job against black man. Stop falling for the bullshit. And he exercises all the power. How is Christians going to sit there and read to you the deadly wound that stabbed Christ? Who created Christ? Rome. Vespasian. Using who? Josephus. Who is in real life? What? Arius Piso. Who is in the Bible? Paul. One real person, two pen names. Tells lies in the Bible, truth in what? Truth in Josephus. The Bible, written for the Romans. It's not even written for white people. The Old Testament, Hebrew book, New Testament, Roman book. Edox, you, you big ox. Edom, Texas, the Red Rocks of Colorado, all one mountain range. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. Didn't black, ro black pope get killed by white pope? All the authority, all the power before him the beast before him, and he calls it the earth, and them which dwell there to worship. Dumb diverses. Don't you even, I don't even play in this book. Don't you know dumb diverses 1452 when you see it? I put a challenge to every, every man, every melanated man. I didn't challenge no humans. I challenge the sons of man, I challenge the sons of Abraham, that all sons of Abraham should know the dumb diverses. And this thief, this dragoon worshiping thief, took liberties to just say, I'll take whatever I want, and I'll take your flock. Will the Most High let you? I ain't bother you for two years till your manservants came here attacking me. Now you want to cry? You've already been banned from heaven. You can't even cut your fucking arm off and get in heaven. And if people don't understand what I just said, at Passover, there's two things we need to check for. We need to check for circumcision, and we need to check for brands and tattoos. And the, what? He caused the, the earth and them in the, that dwelled within to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Don't they keep telling you that's Rome? But what did Rome create that took the world? Christianity. And he doeth great wonders. He fed 5,000 people. 
Oh, let's start at the beginning. He was born at a time that he wasn't supposed to be. Being Emmanuel and Emmanuel supposed to be born at the end of days. Hmm. And he did many great wonders. He argued against the Jews. Hmm. And he met, led men all over these countries, right? From Nazareth to where? Hmm. Rome, right? He walked on water. Hmm. He what? He rose from the dead. And he said he could save you from your sins. And he doeth great wonders. He cast demons out of men and put them into pigs. See that? That's what you type in. You don't type in nothing else. See that? I do me a count one paragraph, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's a sentence. Eight, nine. The name Edom is used by the Talmudists, the editors, the writers of the Bible for the Roman Empire. So the, the writers of the Bible, when Edom was supposed to be used, they wrote Roman Empire instead of Edom. And they applied Rome to every passage of the Bible referring to Edom. Or Esau. So when you should see Edom or Esau, instead they wrote Rome. In Leviticus, Rome, under the name Edom, is compared to a boar. And they put swine on the altar. And they put an Edomite king in on the altar of the temple. Instead of the Most High. Hmm? And the symbolic name of Seir. What is it? What is it when you cook meat? Hmm? was used by prophets, excuse me, by poets of the Middle Ages, right? This is the overthrow, right? Right before the overthrow, by the black people, they were, right? By the poets of the Middle Ages, not only for Rome, because the black people had to be at Rome to have these pig nigger faces to be called pig niggas. Do you understand what's going on? They have to have this hair that makes horns you see that shit don't you bullshit yourself but also for christian so when dumb barbarians came around pulling this christian shit uh, no no when the ethiopians came around pulling this christian shit they called them pigs On one account, the word Edom is often expunged, removed by censors, and another name is substituted, like Rome. In place of Edom, the word Hazir, okay, was occasionally used, perhaps as a mere term of reproach. Oh, what is a Hazir? It's swine. Pig on the altar. Ham for the holidays. Pigs in America and the promised land, and they weren't here before. Pigs in a blanket. 
Now you call the police pigs because they walk around on you like the Roman troops. There's occasionally used a term of reproach, right? So in this Talmud, Hadrian is called King of Edom by the writer. The, the Talmudists, the writers, however, made an exception, exception in favor of Antonius Pius, whom they assured would attain paradise. This nigga for sure will get into heaven because he had acted in the manner of Esau, right? He had not acted in the manner of Esau. Excuse me, because he had not acted like his forefather. Like a fucking pig. Not following the rules. When you say, no feet on the table. However, in Ob explaining Obadiah verse 2 says, Edom had neither written nor spoken language. This is inconsistent with the application of Rome. No, it's not. They stole everything. If they fucking stole monuments, then they stole language. If Obadiah, the prophet of the Most High, say they stole a language, meaning they had no language, then they didn't have no language. He ain't no liar. You the liar. Most high wouldn't have, you wouldn't use him for one chapter. Where the rest of his book? How come everything at uh, uh, Jesus is a copy of David, the only begotten Son? <laughs> They cause it the earth and them which dwell wherein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he walked, right? He rose. There was a boulder behind, like, the cave. And somehow he got through, through the boulder. It was do great miracles so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Hmm. Fire come down from earth in the sight of men. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Hmm? Well, Jesus is the only person that's lived twice. It doesn't matter what the Most High said. My people, the Romans, you're, you're not even of the Romans. You're of the bar barbarians that came and stole the Roman name. My people, the Romans, wrote about him. Right? Deceive the earth by those miracles. Well, if Jesus can live again, I want to live again. If Jesus is the son of God, and Jesus says that we can be the son of God, then I want to be that, right? Think about all these things that they come out of their mouth. Be like Jesus. Be like the spirit of Jesus. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth with what? By the means of those miracles. Hmm? Look at that. Turning water to wine. Hmm? Eat my blood, drink my wine. Which he had power to do in sight of the beast. Look at that. The beast. Who gave this beast power? Hmm? Who gave Jesus the beast power? The Greeks. In the New Testament, a Greek book? Isn't the power within the book? The power what? He had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell in the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. That's Jesus. How can Bible camps not teach you? That's Jesus. How can they read this constantly and then say, let's pray to God in the name of Jesus? Even children know the only person that's ever survived a deadly wound and was healed was Jesus, and then he went up to heaven, right? And that would have been like, what, what? 
that's what they claim, right? Would it look like fire going up, right? When a fallen angel tries to go back to heaven, don't it look like he's catching on fire again? <laughs> and he had power to give life under the image of the beast, right? They make Jesus come to life all the time. You see him on Family Guy. You see him in movies. Who has power to give life into the beast? Hollywood. Jim Caviezel played the beast. Jim Caviezel played the image of the beast. Stage plays about the image of the beast that was pierced and died and came back to life. See, when you just say it fast in nigger words, it's, it's obvious it's Jesus. Who got poked in the side by a metal tip? It don't matter if it's a spear. It don't matter if it's a sword. It's still a metal tip. Excuse me, iron. Still died. Still got mummified, wrapped up. Still got placed and sealed in a tomb. Still woke up. Yawn. Said, what am I doing here? And somehow, what? Walked through some boulder that blocked the gate of this door. A sealed sepulcher. Boy, that's miraculous. Hmm? So. <clears throat> and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image to be killed. Now, didn't they come over here with their inquisition? And that's what happened first, right? Jesus lived at zero, right, and was killed. And because of this, we've come to steal your land because you don't have a king that believes in Jesus. And we come to hang you, rape your women, and, and, and teach your children lies. And if you don't accept Christ, you won't die. Inquisition. And we are all the descendants of fools that have accepted Christ and did not take death. And he causeth all both small and great. This shit already happened. This is the conquistadors coming and preaching Jesus. He causeth all, both small and great, and rich and poor, and free and bond. You're not free. The government owns your state, your, your, your name. When, when you are a police officer and they type your name in, and it says you are leasing your name. Does the policeman go back and tell his family? Do they, do they scour the law books to figure out how to become the person of interest? No. Now, what he tells them is if you get in any kind of trouble, say my name, tell them I'm a police officer so they, they don't bond you to the system. To receive a mark in their hand or on their foreheads. Think about that. A mark, a stamp, a brand, a, a badge, a brand. An etching a brand, a graven brand, mark, a sculpted. Do you have to sculpt a brand? Let's see. Char, that does char your skin. Agma. What does agma mean? Agua is water, right? What is agma? See? Ka. Look at that. Almost says Khan. Kagrama. All right. What would that be? 
Let's just take a rear. This got a search engine. I wonder if it would show up here. Just taking a risk, no? Sculpted figure, statue, image, stamp, etching. Let's see if we type in animal brand. A mark branded upon horses. Fuck off man <laughs> and christians want to pretend like they can't tell you what this is when they came from a time of animals and horses and brandings and ownership of property and you became property and they branded you and they hid this word from you not telling you what it truly meant and they knew the whole time what it meant the whole time they knew what the mark of the beast was and they kept their mouth shut and they let you go into these colleges and start branding each other. And that judge made sure that all white men that have that have skeleton tattoos walking through hell are kicked off of his police force because he knew they were Nazis. He knew they were fraternity brothers. You don't think this is the mark of the beast? The followers of the Antichrist, the mark branded upon horses. <laughs> the Omega. Mm -hmm. Come on. Indirect 666 slave branded. Come on. These people have known the whole time. The entire time. They know you cannot get into heaven with a brand on you. You're owned by men. This isn't the brand. This is the brand. And you don't get it yet. It's not the coin. It's who's on the coin. We'll get to who's on the coin later. It was actually sent to me today. It's amazing how the Most High works. Let me tell you, especially if you've been following some fake that's been leading you to a dragon. He causes all of them to get branded. Both small and great and rich and poor and free and bonded to receive a brand on their right hand or on their forehead. Not on their ass anymore because that can be covered by cloth. They want it right there. So in the summertime, it's on your hand. In the wintertime, it's on your forehead. So it's not hard to see. And no man might buy or sell without that brand or the name brand of the beast or the number of the name brand of the beast on his hand or on his forehead. Here is wisdom. Here is so in fear, right? Here is wisdom. Let him, Greek fraternity members, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. And why don't we count it in Greek letters? Where's the rest? There's only two beasts. Hmm? He's just Rome and he's just Christ. Black people that look like you betraying you, teaching your brothers and sisters to join them and branding them, and white barbarians that came behind to gobble up the commerce. 
Nothing here is any different than I taught you before. We just never opened this book. Good night. <laughs>